I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks, and this is the Merger Megatest Part 3, a very long-range detection comparison of all the Pulsar Merger Thermal Binoculars at a whopping 1.38 kilometers. Can the compact Merger XQ35 with its 384 by 288 17 micron sensor detect a person at that range? How about the renowned XP50 and its 640 by 480 17 micron sensor? And can either of those compete with a Merger LRF XL50 and its 1024 by 768 12 micron sensor? Well, let's find out. Dusk is approaching and the temperatures drop to 3 degrees centigrade. You can really feel it in the 89% humidity that puts a whole lot of water vapour between us and our targets to give these pulsars a proper challenge. I've mapped and checked the range for this test at over 1,380 metres. The warm targets that we'll try and detect are a jam jar filled with warm water, and while I'm across the valley nearly 1400 metres away in front of those trees with the mergers, just visible in the failing light is the real star of this challenge, our industry standard warm body 1.8 metres of Evan, that we can easily pick out on all the mergers. But exploring things in more detail, watch the bus disappear 850 metres away, and you'll begin to appreciate the added field of view you're gifted with the XP versus the XQ while on the XL you get that much more than the XQ, and that much more than the XP. When you're scanning for a target, that could be the difference between spotting it or not. And just to remind you, it's 89% humidity. In theory, these conditions should favour the larger, more sensitive pixels in the XQ and XP, but the quality of these Linred European sensors in all these pulsar thermals, I don't sense we're struggling at all. They're all noticeably better at this very long-range detection challenge, than the same Axion mega test we did in fine weather, which you can also find on the Thomas Jacks channel. Now, if we were using these thermals in the field, we'd want to zoom in to get a better idea of what we spotted, so let's try that. First, with a merger LRF XQ35. 10 times is the maximum zoom on the XQ35 to reveal Evan waving his arms, which you can view with a full screen or a picture in picture window, so you don't miss out on anything creeping into that wider peripheral view. We'll hold it there while we move on to the XPs. At five times you get a clear sense of Emmons arm movement and that small jar of warm water. We can zoom up to 20 times, but after 10 times I begin to lose some of that useful definition in these conditions, so I'll leave it with a 10 times picture in picture window. And onto the Merger XL50. At its native 2.5 mag, the jar of water is visible, and so is Evans arm waving. 5 times provides greater definition, 10 times that's definitely usable and useful. At 20 times the clarity still beats the XP's 10 times mag for me. That's because we've two and a half times the XP pixel count, and 7 times that of the XQ. Before we wrap up, I'll fast forward the action to point out some real wildlife in the trees to the right behind Evan. The XP and XL both detect a couple of roosting birds. I have no idea what they are, but that's birds at 1.4 kilometers away. And then something a bit bigger. Possibly a muntjac appearing where the next hedge meets the trees, visible on all three mergers. Evan can hear it too, so he goes to explore. And not surprisingly, it disappears into the wood. But it goes to show you can genuinely detect people and wildlife at this very long range on the merger LRF XQ35 the Merger LRF XP50 and the Merger LRF XL50. To see more mega tests comparing pulsar thermals in different controlled field tests, subscribe or click this link. And for details of any of these pulsar mergers, visit tj-focus.co.uk. I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks. Thanks for watching.